Hi, my name is Lisa Tires, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about a fun thing called Mask Me. So um, I've been a Shackley distributor for a little while now, but I am not new to Shackley. I've been using the products for about five years now, and if you care to follow me on any type of social media, here's where you can find me. So my skin is pretty clear, so what the heck do I know about acne? Well, I know a heck of a lot, so let me show you. So my life uh, with acne started in my 20s, and it was mainly diet and hormone related. I worked in the dental field for 12 years, and I was constantly in a mask. So being in a mask is definitely not new to me. Here's a side-by-side -side of my face before and after the Shackley Prove It Challenge cleanse. Um, day one versus day seven, um, my Dermatologist was furloughed due to COVID, so I could not get in, and my face was screaming for some help. So let me show you a few things that I did to help combat this crazy acne. So what causes mask me, you might ask? Well, let me show you. Um, wearing a mask for a long period of time, any type of PPE, the uh, cloth mask, surgical masks, or any of the KN or N95 masks, um, they cause a lot of heat, a lot of friction, and just rubbing against the face, that wet, moist, moist, ooh, uh, <laughs> breathing, talking, sweating, all that stuff is just a recipe for disaster and a recipe for breakouts. So how can it be prevented? There's a few things we can do. So the first thing you want to do is you want to wash your face. Always wear your mask with a clean face. Always put on a good moisturizer. It'll help and act as a barrier to your skin versus the mask and skip the makeup if you can. If you really need to wear makeup and you're going to be in a mask all day, I really suggest to wear it above the line that's on the girl's face here. You don't want to wear anything that's in this area. Just wear everything from the um, cheekbone up and I say smile with your eyes because it's really going to help. Uh, only wear clean masks, use a clean detergent, and skip the fabric softeners on reusable and cloth masks, and don't reuse the surgical masks. So which products are the best? There's so many out there, we just don't know. There's, there's so many things out there. Let's just, um, I'm just going to show you what I used. So I start off with step one, which is the Youth Luminous Gel Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. So the first thing is, is you want to be sure to remove all the makeup before using any cleaning products. So take off your eye makeup, take off your regular, like just your facial makeup and get that all off of there because we really don't want to have anything between the cleanser and your face. So you really want to get that product to you do what it's supposed to do, not just remove all your makeup all around. So rinse your face off first with water or use a makeup removing cloth. Personally, I like the one from Norwex. The face cloths are amazing. You want to cleanse your skin with the Shackley Youth Cleanser. This proof, I have it. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, this is a three-in-one soap-free pH balanced cleanser that combines a patented blend of vitamins and it's got a soft exfoliator in there so you're really not going to cause any more irritation to your skin. Your skin's already going through hell. Let's make it better. And it's vegan, cruelty, and gluten-free, and this cleanser is ophthalmologist and dermatologist tested. So what's next? You've cleaned your face, what's next? So the toner. Toner is the bomb. Um, the perfecting skin toner from Shackley is a great way to exfoliate, hydrate, and nourish. So you've already exfoliated with the cleanser, but now we're gonna do another soft exfoliator. Instead of just combating it all at once, you're gonna do it step by step. So you're gonna exfoliate more, hydrate more, and nourish more. It's going to remove all those dead skin cells and all the environmental pollutants. And it also helps with anti-aging. So you're going to bring back your youth with the youth uh, skin toner. So after you cleanse and after you tone, next is moisturizer. So step three is the moisturizing activating serum. This fast absorbing gel is proven to increase hydration and create the, a protective barrier for eight hours. So that barrier is gonna help between your skin and the mask. 
It's formulated with 10 times the concentration of hyaluronic acid blend. So our molecular structure is a lot smaller. So this way it can actually penetrate your skin and penetrate your pores a lot smoother and a lot more even um, and really get in there because it's just a smaller count. After you tone, or after you use the cleanser, you tone, you moisturize, you're gonna lock it in. Just lock it up, lock it in. <laughs> Rehydrate, revitalize, and refresh. This is really gonna hold everything in that you just did to protect your face against any kind of environmental pollutants. Um, the Youth Moisturizing Daylight Cream helps to lock in the activating serum. So you're gonna kind of do a double whammy with this one. Um, this is a perfect layer under makeup, so it kind of almost uses, works as a um, like a uh, primer. So this way you have something between your actual like skin, your face, and your makeup, and then the mask. So you're really going to have a lot of barriers with this stuff here. A little goes a long way. You only need about a nickel or a dime size. You can get it all over your face and down into your neck, and that's really going to help with a lot of uh, fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. And yes, you can use it with oily skin. I know a lot of people say you don't want to use too much moisturizer, but this is really going to help to help balance and not clog your pores. Now, what are you going to do at night? You've cleaned off all your makeup. You've got everything all set. This is the best thing to do at night. So this is actually the Advanced Renewal Night Cream. There's two different formulas to it. There's a light and a rich. And it really is just going to depend on what your specific needs are. It's going to hydrate, and nourish, and support your skin cells while you sleep. It's a gel-like formula with shea butter and deep hydration. And it's going to repair all the DNA cells that will um, help with blocking collagen and elastin breakdown. So you're really going to help repair your skin at night. And for those of us who actually have to wear makeup, uh, if you have to go out, you have to go do things, you have to go to work, um, there are some people that are going to work. So um, you're going to want to look for a clean makeup. The uh, Shackley Youth BB Cream is amazing. It comes in four different shades. It'll draw in all, hold in all that moisture. It'll help with the fine lines and the wrinkles. And it'll protect us against the UVA and UVB rays. And the good thing about that is, is that even though we're, like where I live in Chicagoland, we're getting ready to bunker down. So even though we're not outside, all these screens, I have two screens in front of me right now. You got two screens, you got phone, you got your television, you got your lights, you got all these rays coming at you. This is really gonna help even though you're, you are stuck inside. And it'll also help with the C and E and B5 that are in there. It'll help to repair any uneven skin tones too. So what's next? We clean up our face, what do we do about our masks? So you've got a cloth mask, a surgical mask, N95 mask. Which mask should you use? Everybody just doesn't know. We don't know what's gonna be best for us. It really depends on where you are. So if you're acne prone, the best mask is something that's gonna fit well, not hold in any moisture, and it's cost effective for your needs. Your disposable masks are gonna be great on the go. This way you don't have to worry about cleaning them and all sorts of other things like that. But remember, they're only good for two hours and they're not meant to be reusable. Cloth masks are great, but you want to make sure that you are using a clean detergent to clean them, and we'll get to that later. But a KN95 and an N95 are for high bacteria contaminant environments. These are your doctor's offices, your dental offices, and your construction sites. So those are the types of people that should be really focusing on those higher end masks. And if you're going to be using reusable masks, I highly suggest to use the Shackley Get Clean line. You have a liquid and a granule detergents, we have our own, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, fabric sheets, things like that that are dye-free and you're really gonna get them clean, keep the fragrances and things and dyes and contaminants off of your face. So both, all of them are HE and standard compatible. They come in regular scents and fragrance free. And a little bit goes a long way because it's highly concentrated. So you're not gonna be going through this as much. Um, I believe for a regular size load, you only need an ounce of the liquid concentrate. So you're really, really, really gonna get the most bang for your buck out of this stuff because it's so concentrated. And where do you go from here? So if you have any questions on any of these products, I am here to help you. I'm here to come out with a plan that works best for you and your specific needs. 
And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, look me up on social and let's get chatting. So again, this was presented by Lisa Tires. That's me. And I am a Shackman Shackley distributor, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Wellness Inspired by Tigers.